Char Crail, you are a digital photographer, but your background gets deep, deep, deep into other media. You were the photographer for the Sacramento Bee for many years, right? Well, I was, um, I, I started out as a photojournalist, absolutely. That's what I went to school for at Sacramento City College. And I did work at some other newspapers, but I worked as a staff photographer for the community editions of the Sacramento Bee. At the time, I think they had 15 community editions where they literally went deep into the community and covered very local events, not just not just national or state stuff, but like super duper local stuff. And I did that for many years and uh, continued as a professional photographer. I think I, well, going on, you know, more than 25 years now, but I'm dating myself a tiny bit, but that's okay. And uh, the last job that I held at the Sacramento Bee was as a picture editor, which of course was absolutely fascinating and so not me, mm -hmm. because I'm a photographer and I'm an artist. And I realized that. And I, as much as I love the bee, and I read it every day, and some of my most wonderful friends still work there, they're great, uh, I really wanted to be a photographer. So I actually left to be a freelance, full-time freelance photographer some time ago, and have continued as a full-time freelance photographer very happily. Didn't you also uh, do pictures for other um, things locally, like uh, uh, other publications? Well, I ongoingly uh, have a very long client list that's local, a lot of local stuff. And I work for all kinds of publications. Some are trade journals, some are uh, just, in the, you know, just all kinds of publications. Gosh, I don't even know how to answer that. Didn't you uh, take a lot of pictures of uh, concerts? Like rock stars? Oh, yeah. Well, I did have a website that I was working with for a while. It was doing big shows. And that was pretty exciting. I've shot all kinds of amazing people. Some of the Such amazing, as. Some of the amazing people <laughs> that I have photographed are Beyonce and Madonna and, um, gosh, all of a sudden I'm drawing a blank on them, but they're, but they're stars. They're like superstars. Tesla, you know? like, of course. Well, Tesla, of course. <laughs> so many people. I mean, you know, Gym Class Heroes and Fall Out Boy and, you know, some really current people. Actually, what's really interesting about that is that one of the big jobs that I do for every summer is I'm the company photographer for a music circus, the California Musical Theater. Okay. And um, when I wanted to get that job, because I knew it was going to be exciting, entertaining photographs, that's one of my favorite things to do, uh, I showed them my rock and roll portfolio. And I said, if I can shoot this, I can shoot that. And they agreed. And so now I'm in my ninth year with them, and it's extremely exciting. It's probably one of my favorite things that I do every, every year. So you get to meet a lot of stars that way through music yeah, sure. circus, They right? get a lot of Broadway stars that come through. Broadway, L.A., a lot of people. Your digital art has uh, amazing qualities. How did it come about? I understand you started with Photoshop. Yeah, when I realized that I could do with Photoshop what I used to do by making black and white prints, colorizing them, cutting them up, putting them back together again, and I used to show that work in galleries, um, I, I was enthralled. I was, I was thrilled. And so I took it on big time. I was one of the first people I know to start working in that realm. Do you envision this type of art to show up in museums? Why not? Why not? It's all imagination. You know, everybody chooses a different medium. Some people choose wire. Some people choose sand. You know, I mean, not everybody has to be a painter to be an artist. We, when we hear the word artist, automatically I think we think painter. But that's just not the truth. An artist is somebody who is a musician. An artist is somebody who takes things, puts them together, and expresses them in a new way. So do I think that digital art could be in museums? It's about the imagination. It's about what's in your brain and what you're expressing. And somehow you get it into a, a tangible form, uh, you know, even on a computer screen. It's in a form so that it can be seen and experienced by people. And it can move people. It can make them sick. It can make them happy. It can make them thrilled. It can make them all kinds of things. Yes, that's art. It's art. I'm curious, how much time do you spend on each picture? I have, I could never answer that, because some will come like this, and some will take me six months. I don't know. The picture tells me when it's done. And a picture tells more than a thousand words, yes, right? Yes, it does. All right, thank you very much, Char. Thank you, Alex.